So you're having a hard time making friends, right? It's a little bit hard, like, you feel like you can't talk to anybody because you feel like you're awkward and you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do even. Like, what if I embarrass myself? What if I make a bad impression on them? What if they think I'm a weirdo and don't want to talk to me at all? Like, this is so hard. I don't know how to make friends. Like, why can't I just wait for people to come up to me and talk to me? Well, you're not going to make friends that way. I'll guarantee you that. Because you make friends by going up to people and you make friends by talking which is the whole socializing thing all right you need to be able to socialize socialization is a skill that everybody should know everybody should learn because networking you can always get hooked up on great and amazing offers just because you know people all right use that to your advantage hello i'm Jacinta, and welcome welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about how to make friends the easy way and the hard way first step to making friends or to like being secure enough to make friends is you being able to spend time alone. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You need to be able to spend time alone because you can't rely on making friends. Like say this, you can make friends and be lonely and all that, you can do that. But that just means you're gonna attract other people that are lonely and all of you are gonna vibrate at a very low energy level. And all of you are, well, <laughs> gonna end up as lazy bums that don't do anything with their life and when you grow old you're gonna be like oh i wish i did so much more in my life but i didn't i was just so young and so careless yeah you're gonna be that old grandpa in, at the nursing home that gets wheeled in by the nurse that's always blabbering about all the things that he could have done while the nurse just wants to plug her ears yeah you're gonna be exactly like that all right so you need to be able to become secure in yourself and how do you get self-love? How do you gain self-respect? How do you do everything that makes you a better and great person? Well, you gotta learn how to just move on and do the things that need to be done. Like, come on now. You need to be able to do the things that can be done. You need to be able to have some type of passion, drive, motivation, discipline. Like you need something to drive you to a goal. You need a goal, okay? So the only way you can become a better person and someone that's worthy of having good friends is having a goal that you strive for, okay? Like, because if you have that one goal, right? Like that one big goal and you're taking and you have like little baby steps to go towards it, you're gonna find other people that have a similar goal and you guys are gonna hang out with each other and you, you guys are gonna have a, such a great relationship. Be friends with people that will have a good influence or benefit you in life. Like, it's a give and take situation. Like, you give them the benefit of the doubt. You guys have each other's backs. You guys are always there listening to each other about your problem and making peace. Maybe having an argument or two, but y'all keep it civil usually. That's a good friend. All right? Be the type of person that deserves friends. <laughs> That's the first step. Second step is gaining confidence. Sometimes you really do have to fake it till you make it. And I hate saying that you have to fake it till you make it, but some people really need to fake it till they make it. See, I'm not one of those people. I don't fake confidence. I don't fake shit. Like, I'm a very, like, direct and upfront person. If I can't say it and I'm nervous about saying it, I'll find a way to say it, okay? Like, even if I'm fucking nervous as hell and I don't want to talk to anybody and I just want to be antisocial, I will still go up to people, make a random-ass conversation, and see how they feel about talking to me. If they don't want to talk to me, they seem kind of standoffish, fine i'll back away i'll be fine by myself that or if they still want to have a conversation with me that's a friend but most of the time i do make friends from mutuals okay like i have friend i have a friend that is friends with a lot of other people so i become friends with all of them you need to build confidence you need to build some type of foundation to be able to go up to people and talk to people and put yourself out there and actually be the type of person you want to be okay you need to put yourself in comfortable situations like going to a party with your friend or if you have no friends just going to school socializing with people like i will bet you that if you don't have any friends you have people you know you have acquaintances you can talk to them practice your social skills and maybe you can go and talk to random people and you know 
try and have like a more fluttery and social personality which you can be an introvert i'm an introvert okay i still have extrovert traits okay like i have traits that an extrovert would use because this society thrives on extroverts okay it thrives on connection it thrives by communication so you need those skills third step is being able to hold a conversation all right so to be able to make friends and to be able to be able to go up to people because i'm gonna say this one of your excuses is most definitely okay i don't know what to say what am i gonna talk to them about some people just go up to just go up to people say hi and the other person says hi and you think the other person is going to start the conversation and lead it so, okay let me tell you something you can have the balls to go up to them but you have to find something to talk about you have to find a subject to talk about you have to find something like light-hearted and funny to talk about don't start off a conversation with a compliment or anything like that especially if you're a guy okay <laughs> like it's not good like oh yeah you got some tough shoes no start off the conversation with something else that's light-hearted not like oh yeah how was your day da, 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 da. that's that type of stuff no you only ask how your day was how you are you don't you only ask that type of question if you know the person now th in this situation you don't know the person all right you have to be able to know how to start a conversation and hold it okay and here's how to start a conversation look at your surroundings where are you like you're at the mall right oh did you go to this this store da, 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 da. i heard they were, they had a da, 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 sale i heard they had a 50 percent off sale 30 percent off sale were you able to get anything i saw you had like a couple bags you just gotta scan what do they have what are they like looking at where are they walking like you think they're cool you think their style is cool you can go up to them and be like oh yeah where'd you get that shirt from where'd you get that shirt from and like oh yeah i got it from da, 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 da. like and then you could start and build a conversation off that okay you can literally start a conversation from anything you have to look at the person see what they're wearing see take any context clues see where they're at like you just gotta examine the room just gotta look around that person around the room like what type of conversation would strike up a good conversation like what type of topic would strike a good conversation that where it's like oh i keep i want to keep on talking to this person they're really interesting and stuff like that small talk can turn into actual talk okay you just gotta find a way to get that person's interest okay so look around see see any context clues on what they might be interested in okay and start a conversation there that's all i'm gonna say and to hold a conversation you have to keep on asking them questions make them feel like the most interesting person in the world like oh my god you did oh my god what did you do yesterday oh my god that's so cool like i wish i could have done that like keep on asking questions you will get the questions in your head and if you don't know any questions to ask look up online okay scroll through what are good questions to ask someone here's the way to become friends with people make them feel like they're important make them feel like they're interesting like people love it when you ask them questions because they will always love to answer okay unless they have trust issues and unless they have some type of other issue where they don't like small talk or whatever small talk the fuck out of them you'll be able to dig through and dig into that person like will be able to okay i believe in you step four you were able to strike up a conversation with that person you are holding a conversation but you want to like ask them for their socials like you want to ask them for their instagram maybe their number like i want to keep on talking to you you're really cool all that well how do you bring that up well you gotta experiment a little bit you can see how long it takes for that person to want to ask for your socials or for your number because you made them feel so interesting because this is what you were doing in the conversation okay you were relating to them you were asking about them you were making them feel interesting you were making them feel better about themselves okay that is the main point i want you to take like after you have a conversation with somebody make sure that they feel better about themselves afterwards that's one of the best things you can do all right it works on everybody make them feel like the most interesting person ever make them feel like you care in some type of way even though you're a stranger that's the way to lead up to somebody's heart easy if they're a normal person if they're not a normal person then that might be a little tricky how the hell am i gonna find these people that have similar interests in me well you go to places where you are interested in like 
you you like rock climbing you you have to go to a rock climbing club and interact with people there start a little conversation chit chat whatever just experiment you need to experiment with socializing because you will get better at conversing you will get better at holding conversations if you keep on doing it over and over and over again but of course listen to your intuition first because if you get a bad feeling about that person uh uh-uh don't talk to them go okay it's good to have connections and it's good to have people to know just make sure you don't make connections with the wrong people all right because if you affiliate yourself with someone that is bad or someone that you know doesn't have a good reputation you don't want to associate yourself with that type of person all right because it's going to make your reputation fall down and i'm sorry but if you're doing something like important like your job like you want to keep a good stature good public opinion i will always say do not personalize your reputation your reputation isn't everything but you do have to hold up a reputation to make more connections to interact with more people to have a network to have friends you have to affiliate yourself with the right people because if you affiliate yourself with the wrong people you take out all the other options you could use to network or to become friends with because it is very nice to have connections isn't it you have to have connections with the right people okay and the people that are bad but they seem like a good connection keep it on the low don't make it public that you're you know friends with them or not them just like keep it civil keep it cool don't start unnecessary beef with people unless they wronged you in some type of way like if they actually wronged you like they took your money they took your stuff they stole something from you like just like crimes like actual crimes you can start beef with someone all right fully way you're allowed to do that do not worry okay and uh last and final step step five how to make friends um to be honest with you you need to learn how to implement this all right because with the last four steps i told you you will be able to make any friend you will be able to socialize 100% of the time. Maybe you lack your confidence. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough to have friends. Maybe you feel lonely and you feel like you can't make friends. Maybe you feel like you just can't go up to people randomly. Maybe you feel like you just can't talk to connect to someone you know and have and like different types of connections you have to make even more friends. Maybe you just feel like you don't deserve friends. Maybe you just feel like it's too hard to make friends. Well, okay. If you have something that you can relate, if you have something like this, like this lip gloss, all right? You see, this is the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss, right? I can find anybody. I can find a girl and be like, oh yeah, I really like this lip gloss. Like, how do you feel about this lip gloss? And she, and she can be like, oh my God, that's my favorite lip gloss. Start a conversation from that. Like, you can make a conversation out of anything, and you can hold a conversation about anything if you look at your surroundings. Let's be honest here. If you're watching this video, you probably don't know how to read the room. You probably don't know how to, like, accommodate to someone else. Maybe it's because you're selfish. Maybe it's because you just don't understand, all right? Maybe it's your fault. But I can tell you this right now. It's only hard to make friends because you're making it hard to make friends. You're in the mindset where you don't think you deserve friends or you don't think that anybody will wanna be friends with you. Maybe that is true, okay? Maybe it's true the fact that you don't deserve friends because your mind controls a lot of the things you do, okay? Your mindset. So you need to ch start changing your mindset to the point where, huh, maybe I should follow everything she's saying Maybe then I can make friends. You have to find things that you're interested in and relate it to other people. And don't try and fit in somewhere you don't fit in. Like the internet is a tool for a reason. People make friends on the internet all the time. You don't have to make friends with people at your school. You don't have to make friends with the people at your workplace. No, you can make friends online, okay? It really is that easy. Or you can go to the next city and socialize with other people. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying that you need to change the way you think because you do deserve friends. Everybody deserves friends, okay?
And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that. And stay tuned in for more. Bye-bye.